Hey there, it's Harry from Saturday Daddy Barbecue. Today I'm in beautiful Northern California in the city of Lodi. I'm part of the uh, Backyard at the Great Festival and uh, we're going to be conducting a series of workshops for new teams to introduce new teams to the sport of barbecue, show them the kind of ins and outs and also provide for live judging where the teams will be able to present their meats towards a live judging audience and then solicit feedback on the kinds of uh, products that they turned in. Uh, they're going to be cooking four entries and they can turn in any entry they like including four entries of the same meat to try out new flavors and new textures. I am an official now, a mentor. I'm going to go around talk to the teams and offer them free coaching advice to help them out to get started in their journey for barbecue competition. All right, so I have a team roster here and we're going to go out and talk to the teams, introduce ourselves and answer their grilling questions. Some of them are brand new teams, some of them are experienced teams. And this table shows you sort of how the judging timelines are set up. Teams will turn in their meats in one hour increments with live judging, having the uh, judges tell them what they think of their food in terms of the taste, texture, appearance and tenderness. So we're going to go over and talk to the teams now. So on the chicken module, right? I, I put a YouTube video on how to cook chicken perfectly. The key to chicken is tenderness in the collagen in the skin. You want to reduce the collagen so that it becomes bite through tender. You're not gonna get crispy tender. Crispy tender, go buy the rotisserie chicken in Costco. That's crispy tender. We're not cooking rotisserie chicken here, right? Because you're cooking barbecue chicken, which is low and slow. So what you do is you cook your chicken in the foil phase. And then after about 50 minutes in the foil, you take one piece out carefully, set it aside and taste it and bite it. If it's tender enough, pull the whole batch. Can that make sense? So you're actually not relying on time or temperature. You're relying on your teeth and your tongue and your mouth, right? So that is a much more effective way to cook chicken. So if it's not tender enough, what do you do? Put it back. Five more minutes later, at 55 minutes, take a second piece. By the third piece, you've nailed it because the secret to chicken is 100 seconds. That is the secret to first place chicken, is 100 second window. Before that 100 second, your chicken is not tender enough. After that 100 seconds, the skin pulled away and the texture is compromised. Okay, so now you know Harry's 100 second secret accomplished very easily by doing what? Pulling one piece at around 50 minutes, second piece at 55 and the third piece at 60. Usually by the second thing you've dealt with. Okay, so today I want you guys to get great scores in chicken, okay? Yeah, All right, whether you use my product or not, doesn't really matter, <laughs> right? right? Now you use my first place chicken wrap or you just cook your chicken at 10 o'clock and you guys are gonna get a lot of raving reviews on the skin from the judges, right? Boneless, right? Yeah, Bone in, so you guys sh shape your chicken. So you can cook this really fast. So what you do is you cook it under the crust sets, right? And uh, you wanna make sure that if you're cooking it hotter on the bottom rack, you can probably set it in 45 minutes. Right, okay. so so this this will be good. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, put it in. I talk to you. All right, so when you guys a new pit, I'll give you a, a clue. Doesn't matter if you have a ten thousand dollar pit or you have a three hundred dollar pit, right? One thing one. you want to do is, have you done the hockey puck test yet? Hockey puck, hockey no, puck what's test. The, uh, what, what the, the biscuits? biscuits? Yes, biscuit. No. Yeah, very no, important. We forgot the biscuits. Okay, forget the biscuit. So as a tip, right? When you get a new pit, the first thing you want to do is do a hockey puck test. All right, close, close it up. Right? You want to do a hockey puck test. What happens is you, you buy these, uh, what do you call, biscuits. You load them on every rack. That way, the ones that burn first are the hot spots. So you're going to make a note which shelf is the hot spot. Hi there. Right, how's it going? All right. Which one is the hot spots? And that way, you know where to put the stuff you want to go faster. Usually, the, the firebox is below. It, it, it's, it's hotter at the bottom, right? Now, are both on or one is on? Both yeah, are on. Both on. Okay, so we have, we have 300 on this one. Yeah. And this one is what? 275. Okay, so one one tip, if the chicken doesn't cook fast enough, put in the 300 one, okay. right? So what you want to do is you want to get the crust set. Don't try to touch the foil until the crust sets. Okay. No crust equals no flavor. Okay. Kind of make sense, right? Yeah. So you got to know how to set crust. The very beginning teams have the same problem. They have a best meat, the best rub, the best injection, the best cooker, the best trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't even know the basic number one step, which is setting the crust, right? So oh, once the yeah, crust yeah. sets, remember, once the crust sets, right, you are not going to get any more flavor. Cooking it in the pit causes two problems. What are the two problems once the crust sets? Uh, I don't know. Okay, the first one is the number one problem all beginner teams face, over smoking the meat. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't there. don't over smoke the meat. And number two, don't let the meat dry out. Once the crust set, right, you have fused your rub to the protein. There is no need to cook it anymore in the pit because it will cause two problems, right? So you got to wrap it in foil, right. right? So set the crust on a 275 pit. If yep. your chicken doesn't crust fast enough, then switch to a harder pit. Sure. Don't be afraid to change stuff around when you cook, right? Always be flexible and always make sure that you have the signs in your head. Does it make sense? Yep. If you have the signs in your head, you can compensate. Like right now, I, I talk too much and slowed you down 10 minutes. No yeah. problemo. Just increase the temperature and you'll run faster, okay. right? And then try what I taught you. Take one piece out after you crust, after, after you foil, and taste it, okay? After so, the foil. We are the Smoking Jays. Smoking Jays. I'm Harry. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Harry. You. And you are? Marty. 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 I'm shooting a video mm -hmm. to tell the world that barbecue is a friendly sport. Yes. That yeah, you can absolutely. show up at any event, meet the teams, so that you too can get started. Yeah. And I'm featuring teams with modest equipment. Teams with 65,000 and just as the trailer, okay, to show them that you don't have to spend a lot of money or you can spend a lot of money, it's all good, right? Yeah, right. right? So, you, you want to be the $65,000 team, that's cool too. Yeah. You want to be the $200 team, that's cool too, yeah, right? So, you guys have been on the circuit for how long? Wow, well, as a team together, going on our second year, all right, um, as individual competitors on other teams, probably our fifth year, fifth, fifth year. year, okay. So, you guys are pros, you guys are don't need don't need any uh guidance from uh. A person, uh, a person like me. <laughs> we, we always can learn. Always can. We're gonna show them how you set the uh, the you set the sauce on the, the chicken. Yeah, go ahead right? and hold the tray. Hold the tray. Okay, it's gonna pull off the uh, top piece, which is a pizza grate. Then we'll get a little bit more smoke and set the sauce. Actually, gorgeous okay. looking go chicken ahead and here. Set that down, lift up the grate. I slide it on the grate. Remember. So, so you need a two man crew. It's like choreography. It's a ballet here. They they know exactly what each other does. Got it. Then and. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. So we have uh, the uh, pinwheel approach of making boxes here. And uh, we we'll should. paper towel in here. That way our right. box stays clean. Clean. We have some distilled water. Okay. Distilled we water. use, you know, to, okay. to give Keep our clean. meats a little sheen and clean our box. No, distilled water. Chlorine. Chlorine. Okay. So the you don't want any chlorine flavor. Chloramines, mm -hmm. chloramines. Chloramines. You're, you're, you're talking sexy language. I'm a water quality guy. <laughs> Working for the water company. Hey, when somebody says chloramine, man, my ears pick up here. Gonna watch some choreography you now of how he's done. Yeah, the good thing about today is our turning time is on the 20. Yes. We're a few minutes late. Yeah. Nobody's plus or minus, plus or minus. Did. Wonderful. I love the pizza tray sliding thingy because usually I drip all my sauce all over the asphalt and that's not cool. If I'm on grass, it's okay, but sometimes I feel bad if it's like cement. Very carefully. So what you're not seeing is the little trick they have here. They're wearing actually cotton gloves and they're wearing the nitrile gloves on top of it. So that's how pit masters are able to maintain the flexibility, the dexterity of their fingers. Yeah. Looking good. Wow, that's like it looks like 999 chicken right there, man. <laughs> okay, so now he's gonna pick six of the best pieces from this pile here. And this is where we not lose a contest is picking the right pieces. Now, do you guys trim after cooking or you guys uh, just... Wait? Well, I don't think we're going to trim today because we're okay. a little short on time, but yes, okay. we would. Okay, all right. So, yes, beautiful looking chicken. They're going to do a pinwheel box. Pinwheels are also pretty common. It's just uh, some romaine lettuce at the bottom forming a base. And then he's got some uh, final dustings. I always tell, tell people final dusting is important because you want to make sure that the flavors pop in the judge's mouth, right? Yep. yep and uh, a lot of times we grind up the rub because uh, the normal rub is a little bit too coarse. So we uh, grind up the rub, sprinkle on. Now, uh, you should actually taste that before you do that. Yes, you are correct. Okay, so I, I'm correcting him, my student, on a missing step. He yes. should have tasted it before he did what he did. But we're a little short on time. <laughs> a little short on time, but that's okay. But I, at least I want to point out some of the tips and tricks that uh, you know I try to pass on. It's always taste, taste, taste. Always season, 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 but don't over season because less is more, right? Harry's motto, right? Less yep. is more. And uh, that way and you can try everything. that's actually been one of our biggest learning lessons. Yes. Is, go ahead, Jeff, just pick them. Okay. I'm picking this one. Okay, I'll help this. you guys pick. Okay. So I'm looking at uh, This one's good. This, 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 this one, is good. That one. Yeah. Okay, now I show you guys a trick, right? I yep. arrange actually six on the table first, okay? Yep. So so pick out six on the table here. Which we, is the We don't have time, Harry. You don't have time? How many minutes more? We have two. Two minutes? Okay, all right, three. quick. Three minutes, okay, three minutes. But it's okay to be late. Okay, this one is good. This one is good. I like this one. 
This one's good. This one? Yeah, this one. One, two, three. Right here. One, two, three. Oh, I shouldn't be picking. I, I no! <laughs> I'm, I'm just, enjoying I'm just offering coaching advice here. Right? I'm enjoying this. I'm, now, just, I'm just the helper, okay? Now, for the students, <laughs> yeah, this students, one will probably not go in the box. Nah, no, that, that's, that's a little bit. Okay, and explain why it's not going to the box. Because well, the symmetry is not there. Right, we're looking for almost right. perfection. Like right. this one here, okay, which right. is really good. This one's good. This one? Perfect. That's a good one. This yeah. one's a good one. Now, if we were had a little more time, we would trim right. this one because right. yeah. that would be... Right. This one? That one's good. Yeah, that one's good. So this is kind of where... No, you got scissors. Just cut it off and use that one. So uh, scissors is a great tool to use in a last minute trim. Okay, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, put that in. Yeah, that's good. That was good. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got time. You got time. You got about... Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Okay. Sharp yeah. scissors. Yeah, sharp scissors. Sharp scissors. What, what brand of scissors? KitchenAid. KitchenAid. Good. Okay. All right. Perfect. So here's how, how a box looks like. Beautiful yeah. looking box. We just need to clean, clean a little bit. Now you guys did not do my little paper towel trick, right? All right. Good, good chicken. Oh, wow, bite through. Through. wow, look at that! Perfect bite through. Okay, this is how competition chicken looks like. Perfect bite, bite through. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. Pops in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That little rub that you put at the end—that's the master stroke, right? It gives a nice pop to the food here. And it's not too saucy. Not too saucy, good. Yeah. So excellent. This com great competition chicken. So you know, he's only how he sprays water before he he plates. That's how you do it. That's how the pros do it. Could he's also gonna spray yeah. some water on the lid so he doesn't dry out. Could be. And then he doesn't yeah. get, get spicy. Okay. All right. That's okay. okay. Now we're just gonna take. That's okay. That's okay. You know. Do you know that they, you like your food, right? Right. So good. So the, the so, so t tasting know, Harry, it tasting it again. Honor, if you would take a bite and give us your feedback. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, good. Let me bite the other side here. I don't want to waste the whole one here. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Tell the truth, Harry. We have thick skin. Very good chicken. The tenderness is spot on. Uh, like you say, it could, could do a, a hint of cayenne. Hint oh, really? Of cayenne. More? More. Wow, uh, okay. That's right, cayenne is not a hot spice. Okay. Uh, very good flavor, very well balanced, not too saucy. Right. So, um, my, my suggestion is it's very good chicken. This could score a nine, but to make sure it scores a nine, I would dust it with a tiny bit of cayenne. Okay. I'm detecting the saltiness is, uh, if a, a 10 was a perfect, this was an eight and a half. Needs a yeah. touch more salt. Oh, okay? really? Yeah, oh, touch more wow. salt okay. for competition chicken. Yeah. Okay. That's my, that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, again, I, 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 I'm never right. I'm always wrong, but this that's is my initial true. impression. All right. That's not true. And, right. well, right. I'm not going to tell you what we did to get the bite through skin. Yeah. Watch Harry and Donna's <laughs> video. So they are the chakarat and uh, meat glue, transglutamase yes. camp, right? That's but exactly it's really good chicken. Good chicken. Something like that. Yep. Yep. On the table we're supposed to go to. Moment of truth here. We're going to find out what really happens. Chicken. All right. Your team 12. Your team 12. One. I hope I don't have rub all over my face. Smoking Jays presentation. I've started a couple of times now. All right, so we have a Craig Elsin, the rookie of the year, also tasting food. <laughs> So you are in esteemed company here. Oops. Now judging is usually done quietly, but you guys get ex exemption, right? You guys get to talk and you eat, right? <laughs> right? Exemption, yeah, because the judges are supposed to eat quietly, but today they don't have to, right? You can eat and talk, which is very, very unusual. It's always a great experience for judges too. I know when I do this, right, it's, it's a revelation to be able to t eat and talk. Because in a normal judging contest, you're not allowed to talk. You have to keep a poker face. Are these brine? No. No, they're not brine. They are injected. I didn't pick up a lot of flavor in this. Okay. 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 Good feedback. Um, <laughs> when you say flavor, what like, are you looking I could, for? I, I could taste this brine. Okay. It was, a, it was like a flavor in this. Okay. okay. I could taste it on the skin underneath. Okay. That could be just our method of injection. I may not have got all the bite you had injected. I'm looking for the pop. 
Okay. A little, just a little bland. Okay. And to, overall, the tenderness was spot on. Okay. Um, I liked your appearance. Okay. And just looking for. Okay. Pop. Yeah, one of the things. More spice or just not, more not, just flavor? Not, just not flavor. spice, more flavor. flavor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of heat there. I don't know if it's salt. It could be just maybe a little salt on there. Yeah. yeah, that was one thing. So this year, we kind of dialed everything back. One of the things that we always know when you spice, it's easy to overspice. You can't take the spice out. So we've been dialing back. Now we think we've got a base where now we can pop that. So you guys tried it all? Uh, we did inject that chicken. Yeah. Did you try it? Did yeah. you try your chicken? Yeah. It was a hand blend. Yeah. And Harry did too. And we No. Yeah. 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 And, and, and that, that's what I, w I would agree with that. Um, I, th I think uh, tenderness, um, moistness, um, oh, appearance, yeah. all good. Um, but yeah, just a little bit on the bland side. Okay, perfect. I got a little bit of heat. Yep. But yep. you know, not not at all okay. um, unreasonable. Um, but yeah, a little bit of something. Good. That's a great place for us to build. Yes. Build up. Exactly. We appreciate I'd that very much. I would rather be adding pop versus removing pop. So some, some to think about too, as you can see, my sauce a little yeah. uneven there, yeah. a little uneven right here. Yeah, we were rushing. Um, no. Yeah. And, and and I mean, I would you know I gave you nine in appearance. Thank you. But um, it looked to me like your uh, the color on the on some of the chicken. There were some that were darker, some that were noticeably lighter. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Okay. You know, sometimes again, not a big deal. I know. I no, 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 we're good. Nine, but we yeah. appreciate this very much. One of those things that we've been struggling with is getting the right amount of sauce. Because we felt our sauce was changing our flavor for right. a while. And so where now we play with is it a quarter cup of water to a cup of sauce? We, you know, one third. We're dialing trying to get that sauce all dialed in. The darker your sauce is, the more it covers the blemish. When you go lighter on the sauce, yeah. So, okay, let's go see that. I have a couple, you guys really appreciate it. I have a couple. Yeah, please. Comments. So if I had to be picky, when I first looked at the box, yeah. uh, I noticed some of the, you had some size issues. So I would just yeah. think about trimming uh, again a little bit better, make them more a little bit uniform size. Yep. The glaze looks nice, but it just doesn't seem like there's very much. And it seems like it's just kind of grainy on the top. Okay. I like it, but maybe I maybe want to see something maybe a nice spot on on the moisture. Good. And I did get the heat on the back side of that, but yeah, maybe I'm thinking maybe just some salt on it. Maybe could have that's could have got you there. Okay. okay. No, yeah, that's cool. Good. Thank you. Guys. Your, your, uh, your bite, your skin was spot on. Thank you. Your tenderness is spot on. So. Keep doing what you're doing. But yeah, you might want to check the flavor profile of your injection. Okay. Because that might be dialing down the flavor of the meat. You know, it's not coming we can through. Something that's at the, uh, yeah, we chicken. can actually. Yeah, I'm not that marinate. Yeah, you're not getting yeah. chicken. You're getting. But you got uh, okay. the tenderness and your spice. Is Excellent. Spot on. Okay. Thank you, so guys. That's yeah. always the difficult thing to get in chicken is tenderness and bite. Good. Thanks for showing up yesterday. Thanks for. Uh, just my lucky guess. <laughs> <laughs> So, was that was that was that informative? God, Absolutely. Yes. Right, um, that's really worth the wait and go. Right, that's what a, that's that's what the price of admission. They come here and oh, you get a in, versus getting a getting an uh, eight going why? Yeah, why? So so now you know, right? So yeah. saltiness and uh, you know all the other cosmetic things. So the cosmetic things won't hurt you because the the appearance score is only 0 0.5 weight. Right. Oh, yeah. It's like a five pound dumbbell, but the taste was a 25 pound dumbbell. Yeah. So I noticed the judges were writing eights in the taste. So it could have been a nine oh, with just cayenne and salt. So you didn't have to do anything. Ch don't change anything. No. Your, your product is good. So maybe the next time you would want to try it, amp up the salt and put the cayenne at the end. Okay. And then sauce just a, just a tad thicker. And then okay. the appearance things you you tackle because I know you're gonna trim it in oh, the yeah, real content. Absolutely. This is a backyard, yeah. so you didn't worry about appearance. So don't yep. just ignore the comments on appearance. I know you guys know how to get the perfect appearance, right? But that was that was a good good. That was what the price of admission right there. Oh yeah. You get the feedback. We, we felt so. And I'm a judge too. Yes. So, so you know you know those are like not 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 uh, those are honest comments. Right. And yeah. It, yeah. Now that I think about it, when I taste it, I go, yeah, it's, it needs to hit work. <laughs> yes. But, it, Yes, but it is the most difficult thing to cook. <laughs> Devil meat. Oh my gosh. Your fiance, Donna, has said, chicken, you're gonna die to get the great chicken. As I'm talking to the chicken cooking the wall here. But she is absolutely right. Yes. And I said, either I 
cash it in on chicken. Yes. Like Myron Nixon does. Yeah. We love you, Myron. Yeah. Or I say, no, yep. I'm going to get chicken. Yes. Go big or go home, we say, right? Yes. Go big or go home.